Rive Ultimate Edition is finally out for the Nintendo Switch. The game was previously released back in 2016 by Two Tribes for Steam and PlayStation 4. For full disclosure, Two Tribes provided a full copy of the game for review purposes. Rive is also their final game, which they announced slightly before its initial release. However, the ship and the game is fully upgraded with additional features exclusive to Nintendo Switch, such as added HD rumble, two-player co-op, and additional achievements. So is it time to strap in for the ride, or should you pass on Rive? This is Push Dustin from Source Gaming, and let's get started with this review. The story follows Rushshot, the pilot of the spider tank. Roughshot, like his name suggests, is a rugged, manly man who solves all his problems with bullets and explosions. While looking for loot, Roughshot finds a seemingly abandoned ship in the middle of an asteroid field. Upon entering the ship, Roughshot finds a drone robot. The game centers around Roughshot's exploration of the massive ship and then his attempt to escape from it. The game features numerous references and homages to classic video games including Asteroids, Star Fox, and Tetris. The game also features full voice acting from Mark Dodson and is a true joy to play through. Roughshot's banter to himself and the world around him is extremely well written. The ending is quite bittersweet, especially when I realized it was Two Tribes' last game. Well, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. Rive is a twin stick game, meaning players will use one control stick to move and the other one to shoot. It's also a platform shooter with some levels requiring players utilizing their jumping skills. The game can be difficult at times, but it's also pretty forgiven with frequent saves. Levels have quite a bit of variety among them. Some levels are pure platforming, while others are more akin to asteroids. There are also sections where players will need to simply avoid enemies, while others will demand players to take on several waves of them. I felt like the game had some great pacing. The levels never felt like they overstayed their welcome. In total, the game has 13 levels, and takes about 3-5 to five hours to complete upon the first playthrough. Overall, Rive is extremely fun. In addition, there are endless levels called Battlegrounds, which have infinitely respondent enemies. Players can compete for a high score with online leaderboards showing their friends and all-time scores. The game also features several challenges and achievements which further add to the replayability of Rive. The game can also be played in co-op, an exclusive feature to the Switch. I played the game with my girlfriend and we had a blast. Essentially, one person controls the ship while the other person shoots. If Roughshot is killed, then the controls automatically swap. Any mode can be played in co-op, which is definitely a nice feature. Speaking of features, let's go ahead and talk about the presentation. I really enjoyed the presentation of the game. The game's music fits perfectly, and Mark Dodson's performance is extraordinary. The over-the-top but charming Roughshot is one of the best characters I've seen in a video game this year. The graphics are also top-notch, and what's more is the frame rate never dips. Rive plays at 60 frames per second, which means it always feels incredibly smooth to control. I played most of the game not docked, and it looked gorgeous even on the Switch's small screen. I wish there was a little bit more background slash set variety, but overall the game has a cohesive style and really fits with the narrative. Rive Ultimate Edition feels like a proper send-off for the Two Tribes studio and is must-play for those who are seeking a fast-paced action game on the Nintendo Switch. It's really somber to know that the game industry is without such talented developers anymore. I give Rive Ultimate Edition a 4.75 out of 5. Thanks so much for listening to this review. If you pick up this game, let us know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like and remember to subscribe to see more content straight from the source. Check out the description for all the social media links. This is Push Dustin from Source Gaming signing off.